Hmm, what to play? I got a pocket full hmm. of quarters and I'm headed to the arcade. Man, you got a Pac-Man fever. I don't have a lot of money, but I'm I got Pac-Man fever, Pac-Man fever. It's driving me crazy. Alright. This is a game that we're gonna be playing. On arcade. Yes, arcade. Or the power of the arcade. Whatever. It's just a title. Pac-Man. All good Pac-Man. Alright. Let's go for it. Hello Youtubers, this is Thumbi38 with my very first episode of NES Arcade Power What is this all about? Well, this is... If you know, the, there are a lot of uh, arcade conversions to the NES And actually there's a, a, a little bit more than a hundred and my mission is to cover most of them to tell you if they're worth it or not so I for this very first episode I got Pac-Man Fever because it's a very basic game to start with and uh, also obviously a classic and that's why I started with this one well, talking about this game, this game came out, the original game that is in the arcade came out, oops, they got me, came out in 1980, created by Nanko, someone on Nanko, <laughs> or Nankot, or whatever, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, my very first experience with Pac-Man was uh, at a Bergen restaurant that was close to my house uh, I was just maybe 13 years old something like that and they have Pac-Man, Defender and Galaxian and I was mesmerized by Pac-Man it was really cool by the time Really, you know, and obviously all, all everything was new. In regards of this NES uh, conversion or port, whatever you want to call it, it's really good. It it, it doesn't it, it it you really feel like you're playing the the original Pac-Man or close to it. Oh shit! I didn't see. I didn't saw that. Oh well. So it's really good. It has um, most of the intermissions. You know that every two or three tables, three stages, you got an intermission of the characters, and it has all that. It has all the fruits. It uh, it becomes faster after the second the second orange. And the sounds are very close to the arcade. Not, not perfect, not the same, but very close to what the NES was able to do. And therefore, uh, that was my my first choice. I have plenty of arcade games for the NES, and this is what it's all about: Pac-Man. One of the first pioneers in the arcades that brought the video games to the, you know, it, it, it took them to a certain level of popularity that everything was Pac-Man later after everyone caught the fever, the Pac-Man fever. And uh, that's why I select this game as my first to show 
it controls very well. Nothing. Oops, they got me again. Crap. I'm just playing by on the viewfinder. That's why they kill me. I'm better than that. If you see the high score at the top right. <laughs> but anyways, the game is just vanilla Pac-Man. But if that's all that you need, it has a two-player version as well. You know, taking turns. It looks the right way, sounds the right way, and it plays, uh, mostly important, it plays the right way. So I will give this game an A plus in effort and everything else. So thank you for watching, and more arcade games for NES Arcade Power. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Bye bye. I will. I got Pac Man fever. Pac Man fever.